well hello there i'm alice and welcome to my channel or welcome back today i have a thrift haul as the title stated look at you comprehension skills i have a stack here it is all sweaters and jackets except for one skirt <laughs> And I'm so excited to try them on. They're finally dry. I did a sort of preliminary try on in the actual thrift store. One of the most disappointing things is finding something that you fall in love with at the thrift store. It looks like it's going to be your size and fit, but then you get it home and alas, it does not. And then you're just anger and frustration. I think I'm going to narrate the pieces as we go. Since it is focused on tops, I'm going to do the skirt first. And then the control outfit for the rest of the pieces. So skirt and little white top as the base for trying on like almost all of the tops. I am freshly laundered. I showered and did my hair. So it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Let's get back to the thrift haul! Now for item number one. This is an Evan Picone skirt and it is 100% cotton. We'll get a closer look at this plaid. It almost gives a tweed kind of vibe with the green. And then we have uh, stripes of pink and a lighter green. I'm going to add my own belt because the one that it came with was um, unsalvageable. Skirt is delightful. I love the way it fits. I have uploaded a TikTok as well of the outfits at Alice is Amused. So if you'd like to see another perspective of this thrift haul, you can go over there. Check it out. I can't stop staring at myself in this skirt. It is very form-fitting to the back side and has that very flattering slit uh, in the middle. So I love that. We are going to now add a sweater. I love this pattern. And not just the fact that it has a really fun pattern, it's also deliciously soft. The tag inside of it says Daisy, like D-A-Z-Y. Our first sweater of the day. Oh wow! It is very soft, very cozy. I love the way it fits. The arm length is perfect. It's very warm too. I'm so excited for cooler weather because this is just sensational. And next up, sweater vest. You see we've had a skirt change and this is our first sweater vest. I've been really wanting to find some and I looked through the men's section and found this one. It's a little bit long, so maybe I'll do some altering of it eventually, but it's a nice light pink cable knit and has like really nice classic knit patterns. I'm excited to try it on. It's big, but what I would probably do is just kind of like tuck it a little bit. I love this. It fits the arms really well. It's very soft. I think this looks so cute. I'm really excited to pair this with things. I have a lot of experimenting to do with outfits. And next up, our first jacket. This is a brown 100% cotton jacket from Cremieux. C-R-E-M-I-E-U-X. French, right? Cremieux. Ugh. It looks very velvety. It's very nice. I love the sheen and the elbow pads. <laughs> There's the same like texture under the collar for a small detail. And I'm going to just put this 
on top and we'll see how it all looks together. This was one of those last minute finds as I was in line to go check out. I'm always scouting the racks right next to the register. This one popped out at me. I almost didn't get it. And then my little voice was like, yeah, get it. Buy it. Buy that jacket. So I did. And here we are. Let's put it on. Honestly, I love it. It's definitely giving. This look is delightful. I really like it together. I think this might have been like, I think it might have been in the kids section, but this stuff finally doesn't fit like it was a child's jacket. I really like this jacket. Like the vibe is there. I found multiple sweater vests during this visit, which was exactly what I wanted. I set my intention for sweaters, sweater vests, blazers. Here's our next sweater. This is Sag Harbor and it's a button up sweater vest. Has this really nice plaid detail. It's a more neutral brown and tan on black. So let's put this on. I love it. Kind of just like tuck it up. I think it looks really good. It would look awesome paired with a different blazer, even like the tan blazer. I'm gonna try it on with that. Not, not, not too shabby. It's not the softest thing in the world, but it's not exactly uncomfortable. So I think it's exactly what I was wanting and it's definitely fitting the academia. I'm looking at myself in a big mirror right now and I'm just really enjoying the way these two pieces go together. I'm serving vibes, which is funny that it's like very not the vibe that I thought that I would end up in. I knew that like I had this desire to like shift aesthetics and personal style and I admired so many people who did like vintage academia um, look and like here I am. I'm learning how to put it together and seeing what works best for me. I really, really like this. It looks so good. Mm. Our next item fits the schoolgirl vibe so much so that it is actually from a Christian school uniform. And this was in the kids section, so I think that it'll actually fit me perfectly around the waist or where I want it to hit. What, what can I even really say? It's perfect. I do have the waistband tucked up under, so it's a little bit more cropped for this skirt. It's perfect. Man, I wish you could see this green color. It's actually, it's, it's pretty okay. It's not as soft as the pink vest, but I like, it'll do. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. I'm beyond excited. <laughs> I have that like, in my head, just like, wear it, wear everything. And I wish I could wear it all at once, but I'm just absolutely so excited to start creating these outfits and wearing them out. And it's finally getting cold enough to where I can do it without sweating my ass off. This is our next sweater. This is not something that I would say fits the academia aesthetic style. I think it's a little bit more grandma course really did get this one mainly just for lounging around the house i thought this was very interesting detail and the more you look at it you're like what is that i'd like to call this the rorschach sweater because what do you see i feel like it kind of looks like a face like angry eyeballs like these are angry red eyeballs and this right here kind of i feel like this is a church that's on fire <laughs> like <laughs> It's a very sacrilegious sweater. I do mean that. Let me get closer. Let me get closer. Hold on. Hold on here. Is this not like a little cross right here? That is that is definitely a tiny little cross. And this kind of looks like it might be a, like either two people kissing or a person kneeling. Um, I love it. <laughs> but then it's also kind of just looks a little bit normal. But then you have that design here again in the folds because it's, it's got a lot of folds. It's got a lot of fabric up here. But like, come on now. Like, what do you see? Comment below, what do you see? Without further ado, let's try it on.
This is serving all of the cozy vibes. Look at how long it is. L look at how long it is. It's long. Like wearing a blanket, but it's very cute. I really like the pattern. <laughs> I forgot to say that this is St. Johnson's Bay. <laughs> that rhymes. And next up, you guessed it, another sweater. This one is very cute. You have to get really close to see this pattern. Oh yeah, look at that. So it's gray and purple with these blue and pink little, they almost look like hearts the way they're done, but little specks of color in this. I love the detail in this pattern. The color is so lovely and it looks nice and big and warm. I forgot to tell you the brand and it is Janssen. J-A-N-T-Z-E-N, Janssen. I love that it has like nice big oversized sleeves, very much like I'm about to go study in a library. Our last, but certainly not least, is another vest. But this one is like an outside vest, an outerwear vest, and not like sweater vest. It is a zip-up Sherpa vest, has nice little pockets. It's very cute, very thick, very quality. This right here is an Abercrombie vest. It's giving a sort of vintage vibe. Now let's put it on. It is a quality vest and I'm so excited to have this in my closet now. This was another very successful thrift haul try on. I'm so happy with the pieces I got. Blessed by the thrift gods. Well, welcome back. Did you enjoy the show? I know I did. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stick around and let's see where life takes us. Cheers.